So if you're looking for the exact color colors I used, look at what you just have to type linear gradient to right, then you type RGB. Forget this icon, just type RGB once it's 8, 58, 58, comma, RGB 228, 102, 102, and then you get exactly what is there. All right. Um, of course, your color, you can choose a better color than I do. I just don't want to waste my whole time there. Now, the next thing we have to do is to make sure that the space between these two is zero, and then there's a space between this and this. So remember how it is done. We can do a margin. That is margin um, y. I'll do five. That is y is for up and down. That is um, vertical. Um, margin no, not margin. Uh, it should be padding py. Because margin is the space outside. All right, makes sense. I don't know whether five is too much. I'm gonna check. I think five is too much. We should put it somewhere around two. Um, two might be too small, but we just have to poke around until we get it. So margin two, we refresh. Um, too small. I'm gonna stop at three. My pattern three. Are we good? That's it. I'm done whether it's good or not okay yeah makes sense all right so <clears throat> we have to work on this space which is basically another part by now you should have known what we are supposed to do so we have to remember that this is where we are on the fresh content but the thing is that the jumbotron has a default margin that pushes anything gives you the space it pushes anything below it down by a little space so we need to remove that margin by now you should have known how we can do it. You type M, which is for margin, then B for bottom, then dash. We need to set it to zero so that there will be no margin at all. If we come here and refresh, you see, it is gone. So we're good so far. So good. Remember that you can work on a better color than I do. And of course, better fonts than I've done. You understand? In their own case, it is their, their developer that uh, created these custom fonts for them. Uh, they are graphic designer. Uh, graphic designers can create fonts. If you're a graphic designer, you understand what I mean. All right, guys. See you in the next video, in which we will continue with the rest of this. And when I pause this video, I'll poke around a little with the color because I'm not yet satisfied with the color. I think there's still more I can do to get it more accurately. All right. All right, guys. I finally got it. You can come here and see if you want, but I stole it. Um. Picasso said that great artists steal. You understand? As a great artist, I just stole it directly from Udemy. Now, the way we did it, the way I did it is that I right click on this empty space, inspect. So when the something will pull up, this guy is supposed to pull up. Okay. So when when this guy pulls up, you click on styles. On under style, you will see that they use an old version of um, CSS3 to design that. But if we click on this, double click on one of them, you see that we can copy what they set there, which is minus 45 DEG. I don't know, it's tiny, you can see it. I'm just copying what is exactly inside. That is how I stole the color. Then I went to my CSS and changed my CSS to this. So you can look at this and copy the color. Let me make it bolder, um, bolder so you can copy the color code. So that's the color code. When you type background gradient, oops. Once you type background gradient minus 45 deg, that is minus 45 degrees, and then you type hash, forget this color, ec5252, comma, hash, at 6e1a52, that's it. And then once you do that, you're good to go. All right, guys, um, I, I'm now happy that we have something very close to uh, exactly this. Now, in the next video, we'll go a step further to create these ones. That's where I introduce you to things like cards. Very interesting um, elements in Bootstrap 4. So, once we're done with cards, I think generally we just have the last um, of the bottoms to deal with and we're good. Alright, see you guys. Thank you very much.